So today we are being joined by our Intuit channel manager, Tony Martinez. We appreciate him being able to hop on the call with you guys. We really wanted to provide you guys with an opportunity to, to learn more about QuickBooks solution um, and basically how if you're running QuickBooks Enterprise, what's new um, with 2020. If you aren't running QuickBooks Enterprise, what you can look forward to with going to something like a QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, so Tony will be reviewing some of the more enhanced features of the solution. And then um, Simon's going to go into the shipping solution for QuickBooks and um, followed by a quick demo. And then we'll go back to um, a Q&A session where we'll answer all of your questions um, and hopefully get things going from there. Um, there will, we are having a, um, running a special promotion bundled um, with uh, the Starship solution and QuickBooks. Um, so Simon will be going over that as well. So there's even more savings to, um, to have um, on that side of the, the aisle. With that, I'm going to pass it over to Tony so he can go over the QuickBooks Enterprise portion. Thanks. Awesome, thanks, Carolyn. Hey, everybody, my name is Tony uh, Martinez. Just like Carolyn said, I actually am V Technologies Channel Manager with Intuit. A little bit about myself, I've actually been with Intuit going on my 11th year. I've been with the QuickBooks Solution Provider Program for a solid three years, um, where we help manage basically the partnerships between any of our third party solutions um, with the Intuit relationship. So I'm um, happy to be part of the V Technologies team. Um, and to just give you some additional information in regards to QuickBooks Enterprise today, uh, pricing, payroll, kind of how we can wrap up the, the best bundle offering for you. Um, so jump right in, why QuickBooks 2020? So uh, many of you know the, the household brand name QuickBooks, um, which is great. We have a great reputation, um, but with that reputation, we also have the, our solution providers that actually offer a well-rounded ended solution. Um, for all of our customers. So in this case, the Starship and um, relationship with V Technologies. QuickBooks 2020, there is a lot of new features. Uh, we got uh, Git, if we've got them broken down here with Get Paid Faster, Work Faster, and Better Fulfillment. So um, why QuickBooks Enterprise? Enterprise basically is our most powerful QuickBooks package that we offer. So those of you who are using QuickBooks Pro Premier have maybe thought of upgrading to the QuickBooks Enterprise. There's a lot of different reasons why folks will actually upgrade. Um, we'll talk a little bit about those today. Um, we've got some new enhancements and new features to save time tracking all of your financial transactions. But overall, we've added some new cool features this year with automated payment reminders um, that you can remind your customers automatically of some any overdue invoices. Um, which is awesome. Um, that way you don't feel like you're harping on your customers and sending those out. Um, you can facilitate QuickBooks payments uh, by enabling customers to search invoice by emails or PO numbers, which is really cool. Um, so anybody that's ever had to pay an invoice from a QuickBooks user, um, it is a lot easier to actually search and find. Uh, I know my pool guy, um, he bills me every month um, and it's just easier for me to actually go in and actually search that route. Um, you've got multiple emails for a single customer, so you can actually attach multiple emails. So I know most of us nowadays, we do have a personal email while we've got our work email. Um, I'm hearing a lot of people are actually creating uh, that barrier between emails uh, now that most of us are kind of home base and just trying to stay on track with um, work, whether it be a Monday through Friday from nine to five thing, or you're just trying to keep kind of things a little bit more simple. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about getting paid faster as well um, in a couple of other slides, but with QuickBooks, we do offer the um, payment solutions. Um, we've got a great team that's here to support uh, V Technologies in regards to payment solutions, offering you the best rates and basically the integration that's actually built into your QuickBooks. Uh, work faster. Um, there's a couple of bullets that we just want to go ahead and point out. Some new and enhanced features that we actually have this year. So helping you streamline your operations and just to get you better insights to make better decisions for your business. So there's uh, collapsed columns that are actually in the reporting now, which is really great. Um, smart help for improved content search experience and access to live agents. So should you need um, that assistance and support, you do have the ability to chat with the agents directly 
um, or you can utilize the um, support contacts and um, at B Technologies as well, or even myself. I've had multiple customers just reach out to me directly and that's perfectly fine. Just here to make the experience easier for you. Um, we've got um, some in efficiently inventory and pricing features as well. So there's um, there's a lot of uh, true to find product costs, make it profit pricing and sales decisions even better. And uh, it gives you just increased visibility to your vendor contact information and pricing information. If you're new to QuickBooks, getting into your QuickBooks and setting up your company files, it's just easy as one, two, three. So you're walking through the customer profile setup. Um, if you're upgrading from a Pro and Premier product, um, we do have a tool that actually allows you to actually import all of your program information within to your QuickBooks Enterprise software. So if you've already gone through that step-by-step -step enhancement, it'll just actually pull all that information over to your QuickBooks Enterprise, just making it easy to um, upgrade from a previous edition of our QuickBooks offering. You can get set up within payroll. Um, the, the cool part about Enterprise and working with B Technologies is they actually have direct connect to a lot of our uh, agents that are specialized in payroll. So they'll help you basically if you are new to payroll, if you're coming from any type of like assisted payroll, ADP payroll program, they'll actually help you do a side comparison, um, maybe even a pricing comparison on how we can possibly save you some money, what it would actually look like to process payroll into the QuickBooks. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, and then your direct deposits, direct deposit status to ensure point employees are getting paid on time. So we all know that that's super, super important, especially nowadays. So uh, a lot of us very fortunate to still be working and to still be getting that steady paycheck. So we just wanna make sure that there are no uh, wrinkles in, in that system. Better fulfillment. So actually landed cost is huge. Um, so I've been working with QSPs, like I said, three plus years, but I've also come from direct sales uh, at Intuit and um, we were forever asking for landed cost. Um, which is just visibility into the product cost, which is just amazing. You know, a lot of customers have been waiting for that. So that is new this year. Alternate vendors from centralized information hub. So containing vendor contact pricing data, things of that nature, um, also in, enhanced in, in, in there. Uh, and then your express uh, pick back and ship to consolidate um, roles and actions and everything. So a lot of really cool new things happening in 2020. Um, We've got a new Diamond package, which is available. So Diamond basically is catering to our customers that um, if you are familiar with QuickBooks Enterprise, we, we maxed out at 30 users at some point. Now we can actually max out and take that up to 40 users, which is pretty amazing because we did a poll on actually how many customers needed anywhere from 30 to 40, just even just having those five more users or those two or three more users or <laughs> the 10 users um, has definitely really made a difference and an impact to their business. Diamond uh, really wraps up T-sheets and assisted payrolls. So if you guys have any questions or um, looking for more information around that, definitely feel free to reach out to the to team there at B Technologies. We can always work together on um, whatever questions that you guys have or that might come up. I'm gonna move right along into um, really why customers actually choose QuickBooks Enterprise versus any Pro Premier offerings. One of the ones that's actually not listed here, but I know that we just commonly hear is the list limitations that are in QuickBooks Pro and Premier. When you actually move into a QuickBooks Enterprise offering, the list limitations actually become from an unlimited, unlimited perspective, right? So you've got all these millions of list limits and everything that tend to slow down the program, things of that nature. Um, well, Enterprise basically solving for that as you move from a Pro Premier um, product into QuickBooks Enterprise, which is more basically the Cadillac of QuickBooks. Um, there's three specific advanced features that are actually included in um, the QuickBooks Enterprise offering, which is advanced inventory, advanced pricing, and advanced reporting. So um, as we kind of get into advanced inventory, what we call AI really gives you um, full visibility from a sales order perspective, and you're really in control on each step of your business. So whether you're um, working with one location or whether you're working with multiple warehouses, you're able to have that visibility of your entire business just all in one place. Split orders, drop ship capabilities. So it gives you um, quick tools that you would actually just be able to few clicks and you would have better information. 
Um, you can also predict uh, forecasting, which is big, um, especially nowadays, right? Because customers aren't shopping the way that they, they used to shop in the past. So I myself um, am a true hermit. So I've always loved and kind of had a special place for online businesses and everything. But I also have a retail background. So there's always still that experience that you would like to go into the store, um, be able to shop, you know, just in a retail environment. I am a proponent of small businesses. Um, just helping like your local supports and, and small businesses is just a true great thing. Um, but a lot of them do offer those um, solutions if you need to reorder for them, that type of thing. Um, and you can go to their website and basically with them being able to kind of forecast how people are shopping these days, um, whether you're in store or just online is huge. Um, but also helping basically your business scale to the next level, right? So a lot of, of small businesses actually felt this and had to kind of pivot and scale, um, whether you were a retail business storefront and now you're moving your business to online, um, or basically just a lot of customers moved from a referral basis or what's recommended. I know a lot of um, friends and family today, they're asking like, you know, hey, where are you getting these products from? Um, just being that retail businesses are closed these days. So um, it is really a lot of like word of mouth, but small businesses are figuring out how they have to pivot and kind of change that behavior. And what that behavior comes like, you know, what it does to their inventory. You know, if you're a toilet paper business or if you're a clean business, those types of things, um, obviously, it's just a huge change for them. So a lot of them have been working out relationships with other businesses on how they can actually get product and supply. So that way they could still actually um, feed the demand of their customers, which is pretty amazing. So um, one thing that we never really want to use is that, you know, that those words, those three words out of stock, nobody ever wants to say that they're out of stock on anything. So with the advanced inventory feature, um, it really helps them stay on top of that and just kind of figure out how they're actually going to need to to move through the business. Advanced pricing, um, there's cool uh, features in regards to setting your pricing rules. So if you've got a seasonal type business, I know a lot of businesses will actually um, do special promotions or special pricings right around different seasonal times. So they wanna make sure that they're staying within the competitive pricing of their um, other offerings. But also if you have customers that um, truly purchase in bulk from you as well. So a lot of manufacturing and wholesale businesses will use QuickBooks Enterprise um, just because there is those industry solutions that we do offer in regards to um, those types of businesses. So if you're not familiar with that, there, there's a contractor, manufacturing and wholesale, if you're a nonprofit, retail, um, professional services, those are the types of different industry solutions that are built into the program that um, give you customized reporting and everything um, inside QuickBooks. Um, start stop promos, which is cool. There's always the feature of you can stop start um, enter promotions in there. So that way, you know, you just enter it one time. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, did I pull, you know, it's Sunday night, did I pull that particular promo down? Um, those types of things, right? So I know as a small business owner, you're constantly, your wheels are spinning 24-7. Um, so whether it is on a Monday or whether it's on a Sunday afternoon, um, just try to help you kind of stay on top of your business from a pricing perspective as well and making sure that margin is set appropriately. Um, again, at the end of the day, just kind of helps you make better business decisions, again, keeping that profit margin at a reasonable um, place um, while staying consistent and competitive with um, some other offerings that might be out there. Advanced reporting, um, it's helping you basically just understand your business data. Um, it's so best practices within QuickBooks. So we help build reports based on your business, which is pretty amazing, right? Because you have all these engineers behind and you submitting feedback and everything with QuickBooks, or even just talking to support or working with a solutions provider on the essential needs of your business. And if the report isn't something that's already there, we can help you build that report. Um, so there's a lot of customization in there. So whether you're the CEO or whether you're a warehouse manager, the way you look at the business is very different um, through different lenses, right? If I'm the CFO, I prefer one type of reporting versus if I'm the warehouse manager, I got to stay on top of the inventory. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're catering to everybody and every aspect of that business. And don't get me wrong, sometimes the CFO to the warehouse manager, sometimes that is just one person. Um, so we just like to make sure that that ease of use and that ease of reporting is easy and accessible to you. Um, that way you can help your customers better. 
Autofill templates, there's a lot of autofill templates, so pre-populating data, which is huge. I myself work within 10 to 12 different uh, programs throughout the day, and I've got three screen monitors happening, so it can, vary, uh, it can be very confusing and convoluted sometimes. So even when you just have small things that can autofill for your business, it just helps you save some time, um, let, uh, you know, human error, that type of thing, um, to try to help you solve for and get away from that. But really, it's um, everything that's available there. We do actually have a training center. So we actually have an advanced reporting training center that you would actually get um, when you purchase QuickBooks Enterprise that actually comes with advanced reporting. Um, so it's huge. Training center with pre-populated uh, videos and data of all the how-to. Um, so there's a ton of stuff that you could actually go in there and watch. Um, it's constantly being updated, so which is nice is our engineers are constantly updating that information, adding information. So as we kind of figure out and work with the product and work with QSPs and customers, we're always constantly trying to wanting to improve that there. So really just uh, keeping you know key businesses insightful to their businesses with the advanced reporting module. going to go over the next slide really comes around just rounding out your offer and so really this here for us is we hear a lot of um, you know customers and, and and small business users trying to solve for an A to Z cash flow right so it's not just about QuickBooks Enterprise and kind of how you manage your data and everything but it's also how you're going to receive money from your customers and how you're gonna pay your employees. So you just wanna, you know, we wanna stay afloat, we wanna stay in business, so we need to make sure that we're we're bringing in, you know, the money and the revenue, and we're also paying out in a timely manner to all of our customers. Um, with payments, we actually offer, um, we have a dedicated uh, Intuit team that works with um, Simon and Caroline at V Technologies. They are a direct connect um, to V Technologies. So if there is ever any questions that they have in regards to rates, um, what's happening in the payments world today. Um, if you're curious as far as what rates you would actually qualify for and how you would actually set that up within QuickBooks, um, it's very easy to get connected with one of our agents that would actually take you step by steps of the application to getting that turned on within minutes. So then you can actually start receiving payments Others might say they're actually integrated with into our product. There's actually no true integration with QuickBooks Payments unless you are um, part of Intuit's QuickBooks Payments um, that give you that actually integration. Um, again, some say that they are. Clicking on a button and importing that information to your QuickBooks does not mean you're actually directly integrated. Integration means it's integrated, no clicks to actually have that data put into the program for you because all of that is done. Um, the best pricing that is available, so working with your QuickBooks solution providers at B Technologies, we offer um, the best pricing that's available to B Technologies and their customers. Um, we're also um, in the midst of actually releasing next day funding. So this is huge because, you know, um, Intuit and QuickBooks, we're not a bank. Um, but we offer next day funding, just like your bank would. So um, if there is payments that you receive in and everything, just to help you get that, in, that again, money in, that way you can pay your employees, that way you can pay your vendors, you can pay your bills on time. Um, so next day funding has been a huge success, um, which is just um, pretty cool that Intuit QuickBooks Payments have, has actually offered that. Payroll is the same thing. We actually have a dedicated team that actually works with B Technology. Um, there's, they're split up into different territories, um, so they have one agent that they work with, but if there's ever any question in regards to making your paydays uh, made easier, it's actually connecting with our people, right? So B Technologies can get you in contact with our payroll agents that can have a conversation into what direct deposit might cost you, what that actually looks like. A lot of people are very do-it-yourself where they actually want to do and make the clicks and kind of see the numbers and all that happen, where we can feed you the tax tables and your quarterly um, payments that would actually need to be due. We can feed all those things into the program. Uh, and then there's do-it-yourself, right? A lot of people don't even want hands-on. They really just want the system to kind of take care of everything. I want my employees' time to roll up. Um, and we want to not have to worry about that because we'd rather worry about running our business and what makes us happy. Um, so we can take payroll off your hands. Uh, comp again, competitive pricing, just like ADP and everything, um, where it's just actually all integrated with into your system. As I had mentioned before, our diamond packaging and offering includes T-sheets, um, and it also includes the payroll. So again, any one of us can help you 
um, get that sort of information quoted. And um, if it is something you'd like to take advantage of, we can help get that set up for you. Why a QuickBooks solution provider? So why V Technologies? Why Simon? Why Caroline? When you actually go to uh, V Technologies um, and website, and when you kind of you're poking around there, you notice basically that they do offer um, Starship and Shipgear and many many other products, right? That I would actually help you run and simplify your business. Um, they have a direct connect with QuickBooks, so they have a direct sales. Um, contact, which is myself. So I'm their dedicated channel ma manager. I'm available to them basically Monday through Friday. And I, I feel like there is no hours of limitation. Um, I'm based in Tucson, Arizona. Um, I know a lot of people are remote these days. So, you know, uh, with that three hour difference uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast, it's like, you know, you get up out of bed and you're working and which is fantastic. So um, we just love to hear that people are back in business. They're starting to work again. So um, I love to hear my phone ring early in the morning and late at night because it means that basically there's businesses out there like yourself um, that need help or that need some sort of solution. And, and we want to be able to provide that for you. So um, just V Technologies having that direct sales and support connect with a QuickBooks staff. There's myself, if I'm never available, there's always my leadership that the uh, V Technologies can reach out to. Again, we have dedicated uh, payments managers, payroll managers. Um, we do like to say that, you know, we can um, advance some sort of like support needs and everything that you actually have. We still like everybody to go through and kind of follow the steps of tier one, tier two, and tier three. Um, but if there's any time that you actually have an escalation process, we're always welcome. You know, we always will step in and make sure that you're getting taken care of. We do offer the best bundle pricing on the market. Um, so for any leading products and services that are available to you, um, you know, we're always running flash promos. We're always running discounts and promotions, but um, there's QSPs that do get special pricing um, that they are able to bundle with their third party solutions that work with QuickBooks to ensure that you're getting the best pricing that's available and, and, and that's out there, right? The third party product and knowledge is huge. There are, um, you know, I remember being in direct sales for quite some time and it was, you know, it, there's certain things that QuickBooks just can't solve for out of the box. So, um, you know, that's when the, the QuickBooks solution provider channel got developed and saying, hey, you know, there's, there's customers asking for these third party solutions. How can we get them to work with our customers? Um, that way they can fulfill their needs. So um, just the product knowledge that they bring behind their product and how it actually works with QuickBooks is, is fantastic. So I think um, Simon's even got a quick demo in store for us, which is great. Um, but basically their knowledge behind just QuickBooks and how it works with third party, like nobody can actually replicate that. And going through a direct sales channel, we wouldn't be able to provide that to you. So um, that's huge. Um, and just accelerating the innovation, right? We're constantly thinking of new ways on, you know, how to utilize QuickBooks, what's third party um, programs and everything that are out there. The technologies might have, you know, expertise in one area, but they're also now working with maybe other solution providers on what they've experienced and what their reporting looks like. And, and it's just, it's a really, really just great community of QSPs that all come together and, and again, just helping solve for the customer. So that is just a, a really cool thing to see. They also do receive actually some exclusive perpetual pricing, um, which is available through V Technologies. So I know if you, you know, you happen to land on a QuickBooks site or anything, or you just see the advertisements of a, you know, save up to 50% off, you truly can save up to 50% off. Now, whether that's off of a QuickBooks product and typically those type of dis discounts only last for 12 months, they do, um, they do have a perpetual discount that is available to V Technologies, but then that's just the discount on QuickBooks, right? When you're actually bundling with V Technologies, whether it's Starship or Shipgear, um, you know, they, they can work out a bundle pricing for you. I don't want to give away pricing right now because that's, I'll leave that to, to Simon and, and his team. So um, just know that you do have access to better pricing. Um, we're always here to help you. Um, and if you do have any questions from a into a QuickBooks perspective, um, I, I'm happy to answer those things um, and, and give anybody my contact information. So that kind of wraps up my end as far as, you know, QuickBooks Enterprise. So I'm going to pass the ball over to Simon and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, thank you, Tony. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, this is Simon Volta here with V Technologies. And um, as uh, Tony mentioned, we do have a great relationship with the folks at Intuit um, and offer the bundled solutions, you know, with QuickBooks. 
uh, along with our Starship product and even our ship gear product as well. Um, so I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, here at the end, um, kind of tell you more in detail what that entails. Uh, but for those of you, you know, who don't know what Starship can do or what it is, um, to kind of go over some main features of what you can experience, especially if you're using ship gear today and thinking about coming on Starship. Um, it's really an, a basically a multi-carrier integration platform, right? So you think about the world ship programs, the ship manager programs, post office, uh, or even LTL for that matter, any LTL portals you might be using. Um, all of that would really go away and kind of consolidate all of your carrier accounts into one application called Starship. Um, so when we look at the integration, Starship works with QBE, Enterprise Edition, um, or the Online Edition. Um, so if you are on those Pro and Premier um, editions of QuickBooks, um, this is why we're having this conversation today, to kind of talk a little bit about what Enterprise could do for you, uh, but more importantly, how it can help you with stream streamlining your uh, shipping process. So we also, besides having just a direct QBE or QBO integration, um, we also offer things like e-commerce integration. We have about 14 different carts and marketplaces we support today, um, either in a direct format, um, or we can uh, provide you an extension, um, which basically means when we write back to QuickBooks, we also will provide you tracking information and updating the statuses in those different carts. Um, but today's demo that I'm about to do is not gonna show you that part of it, but if that's of interest to you, you know, in the future, we can always talk offline about how we can help you integrate into your shopping carts as well along with QuickBooks. Um, <clears throat> the multi-carrier um, application, so again, I mentioned it's a single view uh, for all of your um, you know, carrier options that are in your license. Uh, the one main feature of Starship is the rate shop capability. So we'll give you the capability of seeing all your negotiated rates inside the Starship application uh, between small parcel and any LTL carriers that might be on your license. So a quick, easy way versus you having to go to different portals or basically making several phone calls with different carriers to get those best possible rates. The only carrier that we uh, do support is the post office for the rates. So you don't have to negotiate your own rates with the post office. You are supplied the best available rates the post office will offer you. Um, there are called commercial plus rates. Um, so if you're going to the click and ship program, um, some of you might be using stamps uh, today. Uh, again, stamps and the rates that we provide would be the same rate. Um, again, you set up a free easy post account uh, as our electronic postage provider, and you're able to start processing your USPS labels through the application. Some advanced features of Starship uh, that you may not have today with ship gear or thinking about using. Um, you're basically able to print all of your package and pallet labels together. So if you're shipping pallets, um, we can provide you those you know, simple four by six labels with barcodes. Uh, you can uh, also print your packing list out of Starship besides only, you know, not printing any QuickBooks if you don't want to. So we can customize different packing lists if you like with different information. You can also turn our packing list feature off if you prefer that as well. Um, we also will help you automate your international and LTL documents. So some of you might be shipping internationally today to Canada, overseas. Um, the nice thing with Starship is it supports line item integration, which is gonna bring in all your line items from the invoice or sales order. Um, and basically we're gonna store key information like Schedule B information, NAFTA paperwork, uh, info, uh, NMFC codes for LTL or even class, right? So all of that is stored inside the Starship database uh, and then basically is there for future use. So your users don't have to keep manually uh, keying that information in. And then also with the Starship license, you will get access to our full dashboard uh, with a bunch of reports, uh, tracking capabilities, graphs, charts, um, a lot of information right at your fingertips to look at information daily, weekly, annually, whatever you prefer. Uh, and then also the personalized email notifications that you can totally customize on your end uh, by customer. Maybe you just want one template for everyone you use, uh, but completely uh, optional for you to use and customize on your own uh, to get that notification to your customer um, for their you know, future order that's about to be delivered. So <clears throat> again, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get into the demo. This is just a quick list of carriers that we support today. Um, so we have about 25 roughly in total between uh, LTL and uh, Parcel. Um, so again, as you see on this list, if you are using any of these carriers that you wanna see your negotiated rates through Starship, then definitely we should be talking. Uh, today's demo is gonna show you a simple UPS Parcel workflow. Um, so if you are interested in LTL uh, integration, I'd be more than happy to schedule a one-off you know, demo with you 
to kind of talk further through that as well uh, with you. And then lastly, the, um, the e-commerce carts that we support today as well. Um, so a lot of you uh, being in the situations we're all in today uh, with COVID, um, we're basically you know, seeing a lot of uptick in e-commerce sales. Um, so if you are using any one of these carts and having the need to update those tracking information on the back end, along with QuickBooks, we're here to help. Um, so please let us know if these are any of the carts you're using. Uh, we can talk more about that and you can show you the integration if you're using like a WooCommerce or Shopify type of cart um, as well. All right, so let me uh, jump in. I've got a quick little demonstration I'm going to show you with QuickBooks and kind of how we integrate everything together. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, today's demo is going to be strictly just showing you a simple, um, I think this one's going UPS, um, kind of how we integrate. So when you log into Starship, you'll use your user ID and password to log into the web browser here. Um, and basically, you'll see all of your orders um, that are ready to be um, shipped against. The reason I know that is because I have a filter that's only looking for orders I have not processed yet throughout the day. So because of that, <clears throat> this is the only order that's showing up right now that's ready to be shipped. And once I've shipped this, this will disappear from this lookup window. Um, I have a couple different ways of getting my orders into Starship. I can basically, if you have your invoice sales order barcoded in QuickBooks, you can use a wedge type scanner and scan it into this field and hit enter and everything would populate. If not, it's a simple look up by using the little shortcut off to the right, this little truck icon. You click it once and all of your order information will come in as well. I should mention as well, you'll notice at the top here, um, we do work with sales orders, sales receipts, or invoices in uh, enterprise. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. So if you're using any other source document, um, you won't be able to bring any information in to Starship. Uh, these would be the only three that we do support. So I'm going to go ahead and click the truck icon here, bring all the information in for my order that I'm working with out of QuickBooks. And so everything here is on one screen. So in a couple seconds, all the information is populated. So here's my sales order number that I'm working with. Uh, I'll talk a minute about what apply charges are and what impact that could have on you as well. Uh, but basically, we map in all your ship via information. So this one coming in UPS, billing prepaid to your account. Um, if this was third party, some of you on the call might be doing third party shipping. Um, again, we can support that. We would just pull and map in the appropriate account number from the customer header info uh, section inside of QuickBooks and set it to a third party ID that we would establish in Starship, match those two together. So anytime that in this example, if we saw Pete Harbin, we would know that's third party UPS so your user doesn't have to click in here and manually trigger third-party account information. We also bring in all your recipient information from the ship to section in QuickBooks. So all of that's come in for any US address. We also do quick address validation to validate street address along with zip code and also check for a residential versus commercial location. We wanna make sure that those address correction fees that you might see in your UPS FedEx invoices either minimize or go away completely. Um, if this was incorrect, another dialog box would have appeared here, giving you options to make a choice of whichever uh, might the post office recognize as a valid address. Down below is your packaging and line item view. Uh, so a little different than ship gear. Some of you are using ship gear today. Um, you don't have this feature available to you today. You really only have the ship, the header level information. So in here, if you drill into the packaging view, you'll notice basically we put all of your items, your inventory items underneath one box. So we're gonna allow you now to pack these items accordingly. Um, again, we offer packaging scenarios where you can get into defining your item to box detail if you prefer, or very simply, you can just do what I did here, have everything default into one box, and then come over to the right, and maybe you wanna add a carton, you can simply do that, and you'll notice Starship also offers uh, a packaging database where you can store all of your different dimensions and um, uh, box weights. So here you can see maybe I want to, you know, say I'm um, this is to be my 10 anchor box, and maybe I want to, you know, customize my packing list. So I want to show the user what's inside of each box. You can simply use a drag and drop feature here, so you have one item in each box listed. Notice Starship also supports dimensional weight um, from your actual weight. So in this case, I have my dimensions listed here, and it's showing you instead of 12 pounds, Starship's going to rate this shipment at 13 pounds based on your dimensional factors. In this case, with UPS. So very important, not required, but highly recommend that you put in your dimension so that way the right rating appears inside the Starship application. 
Moving along, um, in this section here, this is just basically your line item section where we store all your key information. So like I mentioned earlier, your Schedule B information, NMFC codes for LTL, things like that. That's where the information is held and stored. That's the only time you really need to come in here if you're gonna update anything. Uh, but otherwise, really, you'd be focusing more on the packaging side here. And then really on the total charges, um, it's gonna always default to your ship via. So this being UPS, we're gonna show you your published rate your negotiated rate, what that is, and then the applied rate, as I mentioned earlier. So the applied rate is taking advantage of what we call freight rules inside of Starship. Freight rules can be a percentage, it could be a flat fee, it could be, you know, maybe you want a fee per customer, um, free shipping in certain cases, whatever it might be, uh, but this is what's gonna write back to QuickBooks, that you're gonna invoice your customer. So I have a 30% markup on mine as, a, as an example here. Um, I can have a 30% markup for parcel, Maybe I want you know five dollar fee for a certain customer because they always order from me more often than not. Um, whatever you decide, but we can help you establish those rules because a lot of users I speak to anyway are mainly going back in QuickBooks and having to calculate that on a manual fashion, which we want to eliminate from happening. So that's what Starship can do with those freight rules, and you can take advantage of as well if you have some of those that being applied today. And then lastly, down at the bottom is you have your uh, rate shop feature. So it's always gonna show you what your ship via is, but if you're curious of what maybe your FedEx rates are or post office rates are, you can simply click shop all here. You can also have this run uh, ahead of time and basically um, show those all to you from lowest to highest if you prefer, or you can do what I just did and have within a couple seconds, you can see basically what those rates are gonna be like. So this example is gonna show you UPS ground rates here. It's gonna show you transit time being one day, and then the uh, contract rate of $25.86. However, you'll notice in my um, post office, I have parcel select or priority mail. So my priority mail rate is gonna be $20 in this example, four cents versus you know, the $25. So it's also gonna get there in one business day. So this is sort of a no brainer. If I'm kind of curious of saving my customer some money and myself some money, I can simply just switch it here. And it's simply a click of a button. And you'll notice up top, it changes it to my Easy Post account, and now I can go ahead and print my two USPS labels versus my UPS labels. So you don't have to re-import anything all over again. It makes that change for you, and then we'll write back the corresponding tracking information. So when you're ready, it's either F3 or the Ship Process tab is below. We click it once, and then basically you'll get the Easy Post labels here printed. <clears throat> And then the write back will occur all in real time as well, back into that sales order we were working in. <clears throat> so as this shows you the labels, so this is just examples of what they would look like. So we have something we've created here as what we call our smart label. Um, so here's basically an eight and a half by 11 label stock that you can go out and purchase if you like. Um, but one half is your packing list and the other half is your label. So this you would just peel off to four by six, stick it on the box, the other half becomes your packing list that again, you can either customize it with logos, add information, remove information, whatever you decide to do here, you can do. Um, or again, turn it off completely and just print the label and have QuickBooks print your packing list. Uh, and then here's your secondary label with the secondary item listed there as well uh, for you. And then lastly in here, in the QuickBooks um, order, you'll notice again in real time, we're gonna basically update the ship status. We have a custom field now with uh, QuickBooks Enterprise that we write the word process. So that's another flag to know that, hey, this order has been processed. But we also will tell you a timestamp of when it was shipped on along with the service that was used to ship. So the two tracking numbers um, that are listed there along with those applied costs for freight ship or for parcel shipping will be listed here as well. So that's kind of the workflow. And then lastly here, just to go back into Starship, um, kind of show you a um, little highlight overview of the dashboard that's gonna come with your license I mentioned earlier. Um, so here you'll see we have a bunch of different charts and graphs here for your viewing pleasure. So everything from total packages, the total cost, maybe you're in a negotiation state with different carriers. You have all of those listed here of your top five carriers. You can look at, maybe you wanna negotiate here in this example with, you know, this being uh, UPS, you can do that. Um, also, one of my favorites is this live heat map, right? So you have basically a heat map with basically um, shipment detail of where your packages are being shipped to. So you basically can see here, I'm really weak in the Northwest corner, upper Midwest. So 
So maybe I need to get with my sales and marketing team to kind of decide how I expand my markets and get my products into those areas as well. So kind of a lot of information here um, at your disposal. And again, you can move these around however you like, um, or just add a few, delete them, um, and add them real simple. The other option you have here is the e-notify templates, right? So we give you full access to, again, designing your email. Um, I'm just gonna give an example of one that we just did here, right? So here's one example. Um, so just giving you an idea of what one looks like with V Technologies, um, with my logo. Uh, again, telling the customer the order number. It's been going out UPS second day here in this example. And again, with a live tracking number, which is a hyperlink, right? So if you click it once, it's gonna take you right out to the UPS site. And then maybe inserting a table with multiple tracking information. Again, what they ordered so they can see that. And then maybe if you wanna give them a coupon code to come back to a future order, either on our website or phone sale, you can do that here as well. And you can also attach documents like your packing list, labels, BOLs, international documents to this email as well so your customer gets it ahead of the delivery arriving. So that is uh, kind of the simplistic workflow with Starship and QuickBooks and how we sort of all tie in together. Um, so I am now going to, I think, open it up for Q&A here. Let me just go back to my presentation here. Um, yep, and I do, before I do turn it over, um, I do wanna, you know, again, thank everyone for taking some time here before we open it up for Q&A. Uh, but I do wanna get back to that, you know, uh, question here where about the pricing and the bundle um, that, you know, probably is on your mind. Um, but we do offer a bundle pricing, as Tony mentioned, you know, not only do you get the 20% perpetual discount, the lifetime discount on the QuickBooks licensing um, from V Technologies, uh, but also by bundling it with the Starship purchase, you do uh, take advantage of specific discounts, not only in the licensing, but your ongoing maintenance as well with Starship. Uh, so that's all dependent on how many users uh, that you have in the Starship or on the QuickBooks license uh, will depend on exactly what the discount levels are. Uh, but the discount levels do um, go all the way up as high as 75% off. Um, again, that's on a 30 user license with QuickBooks typically uh, being on a platinum edition. So again, it could be significant, uh, but I always tell people, you know, something is better than zero. Um, and then one last promotion we're running here for uh, the first three uh, users on the call today uh, who decide to purchase a bundled solution um, through V Technology. Um, you have the opportunity of not only getting your $25 gift card as a raffle winner, uh, but you also have the ability of getting a $250 uh, gift card as well, uh, in addition from V Technologies as a thank you for joining today, but also as a thank you for becoming a customer as well. So, um, so just something you know to keep in mind as well that we're promoting, uh, but we hope we can look forward to doing business together um, and answering any additional questions. So. With that being said, I think I'm gonna turn it back to Caroline for any questions that come through, and we'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Tony. Um, good information. Um, I don't know who this question is going to go to, but um, the question is, I'm running Premier 2017. Can you give me more info on the sunset that's happening? That might be Tony. Yeah, I can take that one. So um, it is, right? So any QuickBooks 2017 products, um, the sunset period is still at the end of May. So it is at the end of May of this year. So if you are using any internet-based products, um, functions or features within that 2017 program, um, those will become disabled. So a good time to actually upgrade your QuickBooks, whether you're upgrading again uh, to a newer version of Pro Premier, or whether you're looking at um, expanding and taking your business into QuickBooks Enterprise, I would definitely reach out to Simon uh, and we can get you a quote on that upgrade. Okay, great, thanks. Um, Simon, I think that this question is gonna go to you. The question on e-commerce, can you connect to e-commerce and QuickBooks at the same time? Um, I think the question, so if, um, if I understand the question correctly, if you're trying to update QuickBooks in your e-commerce cart at the same time, then the answer is yes. 
Um, but if you're trying to do something different, then uh, so to clarify one thing on the e-commerce and QuickBooks thing. Um, so Starship can basically write back and update um, both the QuickBooks and the e-commerce cards at the same time. The only thing Starship is not going to be able to help you with at this time is updating QuickBooks with your e-commerce orders. So that's something you would have to do manually still or have another app that can help you get those orders into QuickBooks, which obviously QuickBooks has other apps that can do that. So just want to make that clear. But hopefully I answered the question, but if not, let me know. Hey, Simon, I think it might be good just to let people know also on the bundled um, solution, what QuickBooks solutions or solution Starship works with. Um, is it just enterprise? Just, um, yeah, so for the bundled solution, um, you do get the, so there is a QuickBooks Online bundle as well as an enterprise bundle. Um, so depending on if you are, you know, looking to go potentially from, say, Pro Premier to, say, an online version of QuickBooks, there is a smaller um, discount that's available uh, for those bundles, but the enterprise is the bigger of the two, you know, additions. So, um, but they could go to either or. Okay, thanks. Great. Thanks, guys. We don't have any other questions. Thank you all for attending, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Thank Stay you. safe. Stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.